my name is Johnson. Imagine you have to build these enormously tall buildings. For example, Salesforce Park. It is the tallest building in San Francisco and ranked the 36th in the entire world. So, previously, engineers, they tend to, they tend to curve the thing and use old structure as reference to build well and more improve the structures. So that leads to my first talk, first point of my talk. Having a solid foundation is very critical to a species. It is, told, it is super fascinating to see how one species is able to build and construct on its own during early developmental stage. So that leads to my studies. So our lab studies how muscle forms. And we use Sanibus Davis as a primary model to study how muscle forms. With that being said, muscle formation is well characterized in our lab using Xenobus Davis. However, due to its tetrapoid genomes, it, it creates barriers for us. For example, like performing tasks like upregulating genes and downregulating genes. So with that being said, I have to sort out a different approach, which is to look into a closely related species, closely related diploid species, Xenobus so in the process, I have found out that two species, they share very similar muscle form patients. And I also found out that they undergo 90 degree rotation, somite rotations. For those of you who are not familiar with the somite terms, they are, speci they are specifically give rise to the dermis, tendons, and skeletal muscles. It is totally critical to it's totally relevant to our humans because with studying muscle formations in Xenobus levis and Xenobus trochaeus can tie back to some of the human diseases we have, for example, like skeletosis and muscular dystrophy. 